Good evening. How are you all today? Hope you've had a good day. All right, let's get started with a nice little warm up. So we're just jogging on the spot, punching out in front. Straight punch. Uppercuts. All right, let's go for 30 seconds each. Uh, body weight exercise, starting with push-ups, okay? So 30 seconds, push-ups, let's go. So we'll go push-ups, sit-ups, tricep push-ups, leg raises, squats. Five sets, two minutes 30. 15 seconds. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, flip over and sit ups. 30 seconds. And flip over to your tricep push-ups. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a little bit of the clinch. And then we're going to do th some knees from the clinch. We've done knees from outside of the clinch before. But we're going to do some knees on the inside, from inside of the clinch. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and flip over. Leg raises, 30 seconds. So we're just gonna have a quick chat about the clinch, how we set it up, how we get it to work, why we do what we do. And then we can then shadow spar some of those drills that we're gonna do. 15 more seconds. And then we can put it on the pads and I can also show you how you can work that on the bag. Because these are drills that you can work on the bag as well. And on your feet for squats, 30 seconds. So if you did the um, class on, Thursday, oh, on Tuesday, sorry, we did the step around and we went step and turn and we went step and turn and we threw a kick off of that step and turn. Well, that same movement is going to be... Um, required to do the knee, and I'll explain that in a second as well. And two more reps, one more, okay, time. All right, now, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about a clinch. So, when we clinch up somebody, generally speaking, right, when we lock on, we lock on with the front arm first, take a step in and get inside, we go inside the arm and behind the neck, and then we square up and we do the same with the other arm. So you end up having a squared up stance. So you go like this. And lock on. And then there's where we can do step back knees. Where we step back, we pull them down and then we throw a knee. Step back, bang. We've got uh, bulldozer knees where we then lean on them with our forearms on their collarbones. And push them back a little bit and then step in and then fire the knee. So reminiscence of bulldozing, pushing someone back. So you have to step back 
and to bulldoze. So I bulldoze them first, they can give me a bit of space, step in with the foot that I don't want to throw, the neon, and then drive the knee on the other side. And then the final one, what we're going to be concentrating on today mostly, is the, the turnout knee. So the turnout knee, we've, we've squared up our stance like this, and then we step one foot or the other foot, and we go step, and then turn them around, ready to throw the right knee. That's if I step with my left foot, I'd then spin them and throw my right knee. And then if I had stepped my right foot, I would have spin them and I've set up my left knee here, you see? You watch, when I do it from here, I'm gonna do it from here so I get behind, you get the, um, a behind the view look. Watch what my, my, how my foot have um, landed. So I'm locked on, right? So I'm locked on like this. And I step, and then I'm going to pivot 90 degrees, but watch. You see that I'm still on my train tracks there? Look. And then now I'm ready to fire in that knee. Because if I see this a lot, right? You're, you've done this bit. You go like this. And then you can't knee because your legs, oh, you've got to go like that first and then throw the knee. Or you're off balance and then you get spun around as well. So we want to make sure that we, we spin them around, we're stable. So if I did it from this side here, and I go, look, train tracks again, and then bang, fire in the knee. So I'm stable here. All right, I can't throw a knee, be up on one leg and be unstable. We're in the clinch. They just sweep my foot out from underneath me. All right, if, you, if you're standing on one foot like this, uh, you're going to get your foot swept out from underneath you like that by someone that's smart, that's feeling your body weight being compromised. So we don't want to compromise in any way. So I'm going to grab my gorgeous assistant, partner. Don't forget to give your partner a big kiss and a cuddle every day. Okay. All right. She's got her guard up. So for me to get in on the clinch, right, I'm going to step in with my left foot. I've stepped into the line and I go inside her arm. So I've gone inside the guard and behind the head and then I'm up near where the ponytail is at. Back of the head. And then this leg, step up like this as well. And then weave this arm in and then lock. All right, then we've got a good top lock. That quick, I call that top lock. All right, so there's the clinch. Some people call it clinch, neck wrestling. All right, I call that the top lock. We've got a top lock. And then uh, when we use that, we call that clinch work or neck wrestling. All right, again. And now uh, this is my step back knee. Notice I haven't made her make any steps. If I did, I would have blocked off some of my power. If I'd have done this, then I, I got no, no space, no power. So I pulled down and stepped back. I let them up a little bit like a jack in the box. They'll come up and then I'll boom, throw my knee. I'll tell you a little trick. Is if I pull you down, right? And then I hold you for a second and then make you want to get back up because you want to get back up because you've been pulled down and you don't want to get kneed in the face. So muscles come into play. Muscles, back muscles. So that means stomach muscles have got a bit loose. That's the perfect time to throw the knee. So if we step in and pull down and let them start to train their body back up like that, as they do that, their stomach's loose. It's when you get pulled down, your stomach's tight. So pull them down and let them pull themselves back up and then throw the knee. All right, that's just one little thing that I make sure I do. I make sure I knee you when you're pulling out of my pull down. I don't pull you down and knee unless I'm doing that to your head, right? Otherwise I'll let you drain your body up. All right. That was a step back knee, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the turnout knees, right? So let's let's go again. So 
Get it up. Now I choose. I'm going to choose to go right foot and knee left. Step. I'm very close to Candice right now. Actually, I'll, I would be, I'm in, uh, we're touching. And then I'm going to pull her like sort of onto me and then, then shoot my body out and then she falls where my body was. And I'm, look, ready? Boom. What you get? I'll go the other way. I'll do it from this side so you get end up getting the... I'll go to the, the train tracks itself. Watch. So I'll go... Clinch it up. Squared it up. Step out. So now when I do my turn, my right foot's going to go on that train track line. It has to, right? Remember what I said about keeping stability? There it is there, see? And now, look at Candice. She's slightly pigeon-toed now even. And square. And then vulnerable for the big one. So again, watch one more. Go left side. Bam. And go right side. All right. So the footwork. Let's practice that. Two more. One more. <clears throat> and then the other way. Two more. We'll come from the side. One more. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to throw a um, two-hit combination, right? Jab, cross. And then the third punch looks like going to be a punch. It's not. It's clinching. So we're going like this. Jab, cross, clinch, clinch. Yeah? Jab, cross, clinch, clinch. I'll show you on the back how I do that. So I move in jab cross, jab cross, clinch, clinch, step and turn, step, turn, and then that's how you set that up on the back, okay? So we're going jab cross, clinch, clinch, look at my feet, look at this, watch this. I'll, I'll go, I go jab cross, I end up on train tracks, watch, bang, bang. Jab cross. Now I'll clinch. I'm square. Then set my turn. Which way do I want to go? We're going to go right knee first when we do it. So we're going to go left step, turn right knee on your train tracks, and then throw the knee strike. Okay, this is not about doing this with a lot of power right now. We're practicing. We'll do it with power to finish the drill. All right, and the session. So, hey, this is how we're gonna do it. You're gonna get your gloves on. I'm gonna get some focus mitts on, or if you're on your bag, you're just gonna do it with your gloves on. Okay, so I'm gonna get Candice now. Candice is gonna do these combinations on me. Now, just to show you, actually, how light we're going, she can keep the gloves on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my bare hands. So the, the, the bulkiness of the, of the um, focus pad's not there for her when she does the weaving. All right. So, hands going to move in, do a one-two combination. Now she moves in and clinches me up. Squares up. Now, she steps out with her left foot, pivots me to the right, and sets up the right knee to the stomach. Again. One, two combination. Clinch me up. 
Step out and turn. And knee strike. Good. Good go from there this time. One, two combination. Clinch me up. And then step around. And knee strike. So you step in one, two, then it's another step in to get in close enough to grab them. We want to get in real close. Now step around. One minute to go. One, two, clinch them up. Get right in close when you clinch them up. Both feet come. And now step around and next slide. When I clinch somebody up, watch how close I get. So I'll go one, two. Oh, oh, I clinch up, watch this, look. See that? I'm on you. I don't want to have space here where you might throw a quick jab knee. So throw a quick knee into my stomach fast. Like that. I don't want that. So I'll lock, I walk up and I get close, then turn. Now I get the space in me. Alright, so you want to close that gap real quick. So we're going one, two combination. Lock on, close the gap real quick. That's it. Now turn me out. And throw the knee. Yeah, good. You get a better turnout too when you're close to them so you've attached yourself to them. All right. What we're going to do now, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to go the other way. So you're going to step your right foot, turn, and knee left. So you're going to knee with your left leg this time, not your right leg, your left leg. So you're going to have to step out with your right Pivot and make your left leg behind. Okay? Let's practice that one. So Candice throws the one, two combination. Pinches me up, gets in really close. Steps across with her right foot. Pivots me around and then fires the left knee. Candice felt that and she said she was way too far away from me. What I'd do, if you did that, right, so let's say you threw, you went one, two, and you came, you didn't come in, right, you just reached in to, to grab me, i go, boom, there you go, thank you, good night. So you want to get right in real close, you don't want to get elbowed, and you keep your guard up as well. That was better, and square up, and now step out, and then wham. Throw that knee straight into the stomach. We're one minute in, so keep going for another one minute. So the one-two combination, that will help you get the entry. Step in, grab both feet, turn out, and then fire in the knee. One-two combination. Clinch them up. And then knee. I'll just have a quick look at you guys there. How you doing that? Clinch up. That's it, good. So you smother them for that little second when you come in and you clinch them up. We've got 30 seconds to go. One, two, clinch them up. Get smothered in there and then turn them out and then fire the knee. It's perfect. Couple more. Before we put any power in behind any of that at all. And we will alternate sides. So one, two, lock up, go left, step knee right. One, two, lock up, step right and go knee left. All right, let's go. Alternating sides now. So the entry is exactly the same. The one, two and the lock up, it's exactly the same. No different. Now you choose a side and do your knee. Now you do the opposite side of that one. And then the other way. Lock up.
Keep going, keep changing sides. The one-two combination, making sure that that sort of softens them up so you can get in and grab them. They may, they may just snake arm you. If Candace tried to come in and grab me without doing the one-two combo first, so she's just trying to grab my neck, and I just sort of snake her arms, you know, like this. She throws a one-two first. I'm going to protect myself, and then she comes snaking in to her rest herself like that. That's the theory behind that. And then you do your turn out, and your knee, bang. Yeah, you see why we throw the one-two? So they're not ready for the grapple. So one-two, I've got it up. She's gonna weave her arms in. One more. All right, okay, so the way that we'll do this now with a bit of power is we'll put the tie pads on or we'll put a belly pad on and a tie pad or belly pad on and a focus mitts as well, okay? And then what we do, same combination exactly, but we employ a bit more power and we're doing it on now um, with the intent. All right, I'll just get myself a belly pack. Okay, so now we'll do that with a little bit more intent, a lot more power. Okay, so Candice just throws the one-two combination. Pinch me up. Turn out. And through the knee. That's it, good. And again, keep going the same way for the whole round. You guys at home there on the bags. That's it, good, that's the way. You keep that going, make sure you get plenty of power for that knee, so that turn out and step gets you the space so you can get the good power for the knee. Combos, guys. Okay, now we'll go the other way. So this time, you'll step with the opposite leg and then knee with the other side. Okay, so still the same, one, two, lock on, exactly the same, except step out and then turn with the opposite sides. All right, so you're gonna step with your right foot and then knee with your left. Okay, let's go. One, two, combination. Lock on. 
Right step, turn, left knee. One more minute to go. Guys, keep going. Make sure you get enough space. That's the main thing. Get enough space to get that good knee. So we go one way, then the other way, one way, then the other way. So one, two, lock on, and then step, turn out, and be right. And then a one, two, lock on, step right, turn out, and then knee left. And we'll just change that up. Let's go. Alternating now. One, two, lock on. Yeah, you can square up. So we've got a minute to go now. Just keep going with that. One, two, lock on. Two more, one more each side. And last one, one more. Okay. Awesome work. All right. And now just to um, finish off the session and just to pump it up a bit, we'll do a 10 down to one drill. All right. 10 one twos, 10 push ups, 9 one twos, 9 push ups, 8 one twos, 8 push ups, all the way down to 1. 10 and 10, 9 and 9. We'll keep changing them from 
Regular push-ups to tricep push-ups. Okay, are you ready? Regular push-ups for the first 10. Let's go, 10, fire them out. Now, regular push-ups. Okay, we wanna to try to get this done in two minutes flat. Our nine tricep push-ups and so we keep following that pattern down to one so now it's eight eight goes with regular push-ups two three four five six seven eight regular push-ups this time and keep alternating till we get down to one We're on seven, so that's tricep push-ups. Next one, six, and that will be the regular push-ups. We're on five. Punch out for 50. Just count the right punch up to 50. Okay, ready, set, go. That's 10. Come on, let's go. That's 20. Ten tricep push-ups. Really appreciate you guys joining me on that. And I hope to see you guys soon.